All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So this is another fake card sent to me by one of my viewers and subscribers, uh, Chase here. And he was like, hey, want to go ahead and review Fake Card Friday? I'm like, sure, why not? I haven't got one of your cards to review, so I'll go ahead and take a look. So this is number 113. I'm not sure if the number must just go up that high. I don't think so. I'm not sure. And I, I didn't watch Zexel, so I'm not sure... You know how high the number monsters go, but hey, number one hundred thirteen, which just happens to be Blue Eyes Lucid Dragon. So Blue Eyes all of a sudden became a number monster because why not? Okay, uh, the card art is fine, kind of simple, really. Like you probably won't be seeing a card art on one of Konami's cards like this, or you know. Uh, but I, I mean, it's better than what most people do. Most people don't even put a card art, so I, I mean, I can't complain, right? So. It is a light rank 8 Dragon XC effect monster, 3000 tag, 2500 defense. Uh, like, we haven't seen that before, a light, a light rank 8 Dragon XC monster with 3000 tag and 2500 defense. So we've seen that, like, plenty of times. But, uh, uh, how is it made it is, um, is my big gripe with it. It's made, are you guys ready for this, with three level 8 light dragon type normal monsters. Nigga. Are you saying that I have to have three blue eyes on the field to make this? That that's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. That's very difficult to do. Very, very difficult. Like you would pretty much have to like turbo send your blue eyes to the graveyard and then summon them back with like gospel and silver's cry just to make this card. It better be worth it. I better read like this card wins you the duel or it, it, you know like three level eight light dragon type normal monsters. That is. That is so specific that I, I can't even think of anything outside of just blue eyes, you know? And, you know, uh, does spirit count? I think spirit counts while in the great deck in the graveyard. Yeah, not on the field. It's an effect monster. So nope, can't do that. It's not a Gemini monster. Uh, it's just, wow. All right. Well, let's look at this effect, and hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's worth all this trouble. So, once per turn, you can attach one extreme material. Okay. Add one dragon, one spellcaster. Or one warrior type monster from your deck to your hand, then banish one card from your hand. Look, look, I don't, I don't, I don't, not sure if you understand here, but I just used three blue eyes to make this. I'm not even out with shit. I already went neg summoning this card. Now all I do is just get a detached search effect, and then I even out. I don't even get the plus. Like I neg on the summon, right? Then I detach. I get a search, but then I have to banish a card from my hand. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, wow. And add, like, maybe if it was all three, maybe we could talk. Maybe if I could add a dragon, a spellcaster, and a warrior type monster, and what deck is playing all three of those, I have no fucking idea. But no, I only get to add either a dragon, which is probably going to be playing dragon because I'm probably going to make it with three blue eyes. So I get to summon this, go super neg, because I take three blue eyes and make it into this one monster, this is neg two, then detach, search a dragon, and then banish a card from my hand, so zero out. I'm still neck two. Like, it, no, no. Like, wh I don't even know what a spellcaster or warrior you're searching for when you just made this card with three level eight dragon type normal monsters. Blue eyes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, um, like maybe they're tuner monsters, I guess. I think they're tuner monsters are, are spellcasters. I think. I want to say maybe they're spellcasters. Yeah, they're spellcasters. So, ooh. And maybe I think some of the Blue Eyes Tuner Monsters are warriors as well, so um, you can do that. You know, Eyes of uh, Blue Spellcaster, 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 Spellcaster. Nah, looks like everybody's a Spellcaster, so no. I thought maybe maybe like Protector or Master, so maybe a warrior, but nope, 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 they're all Spellcasters. So I don't, I don't know what warrior searching for, I really don't know, like... Maybe like Galaxy Soldier? Is Galaxy Soldier a warrior? Galaxy Soldier is no, obviously no. Like Galaxy Soldier is a machine, that's how you go into Cyber Dragon City. Why do you think Galaxy Soldier is a warrior? I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm just so flustered by just how bad that card this card is right now. It has another effect, so hopefully it can get deemed, redeemed by that. If this exceeds summon card is destroyed by battle or by card effects, okay, period. Doesn't have to be by your opponent, just period. It's sent to the graveyard. You can special summon one dragon, warrior, or spellcaster type monster. I like how it was one dragon, spellcaster, warrior. Now it's one dragon, warrior, or spellcaster. You kind of like switch the orders on the cards, but uh, from your hand or deck, 
It doesn't even say ignoring summoning conditions, so I guess you get paid back. If this monster dies, you get destroyed that all by card effect. You get to replace it, and then you can banish up to three cards on the field. Well, I guess that's not terrible. It doesn't target, and you can go ahead and banish, but... I mean, I went super neg just to make this. I kind of get a search, and... Uh, no, no, no. If this card exists, I don't think anybody would go into it. Just, it is so specific with how it's made. It literally is just, might as well just say three blue eyes monsters, you know? And to make this, I get a search of a dragon or a spellcaster. And if you destroy it by battle or by card effect. If you destroy it by battle card. So if you take it with a 101, put it back in the abstract with a castell, run me over to Toby the Lightning. You know, there's so many ways to handle this that, that you know, being destroyed by battle or by card effect, I mean, you pretty much handle it the same way you handle, handle like a fire or ice hand, all right. Then I get to replace it with a dragon warrior spellcaster monster from my hand or deck. And then banish after three cards in the field. If there's some nice cards that I want to banish, I don't know. Nah, nah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Back to the drawing board with this one. This card's not that great for how difficult it was. Maybe if it was, like, generic. Maybe if it was just, like, two level eight monsters. Maybe, shit, maybe if it was just two level eight dragon-type monsters, I'd be okay with it. But three level eight light dragon-type normal monsters? Hell no. Hell to motherfucking no. I'm sorry. I don't I, I mean to harp on your card that bad, but you know, I, I gotta view it as a real setting. And if Konami literally made this, created this card tomorrow and said, here's the new card, and we looked at it as a community, we'd be like, hell to the motherfucking no, get the shit out of my face. So, rip, rip, back to drawing board. <coughs> but I still appreciate you sending him a fake card. I really do. Thank you for taking the time to create the card, send it to me, and uh, just the fact that I can be so critical on it, it's just really awesome itself. So thank you very much. You know, uh, most often when I get sent fake cards, they're broken as all shit. But your card is uh, the opposite. So <laughs> so tell me what you guys think about number 113, Blue Eyes, Lucid Dragon, in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with some more fake cards to look at. I said, trailing been growing. I've been getting a lot more fake cards being sent in. It's not just like Daniel on the forum searching for fake cards. I had to get uh, some input, so that's great. I really do appreciate it. Everybody who sends in a fake card, uh, it's really awesome. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for allowing this series and this channel to be such a success. And uh, yeah, see you guys next Friday.